So, I have another review for you guys, and today I am reviewing Wicked Bugs, The Last That Conquered Napoleon's Army and Other Diabolical Insects by Ian Stewart. This book was published by Aliquin Books in May of 2011. It has 288 pages, and it has 1,385 ratings on Goodreads, so it qualifies for me to review this. Even though there's not necessarily much to review, it is very similar to Drunken Botanist, except there are no mojito or other alcohol-related recipes. It is essentially just going through and talking about a bunch of horrible bugs that either are very destructive, or parasitic, or are detrimental to our health, or indicative of bad things. Just many different bugs that the humans have encountered. So yeah, there are plenty of pictures, and I don't know, some of them are cool and creative. Um, I think the illustrator is Barony Marrow Cribs. I don't know, I did like I did enjoy the like the illustration. Some of them are very like another picture of a bug look like and it's very anatomically accurate. But then some other ones are a bit more cartoony, like these ones. Because I don't think that roaches really do that. So so typically I say it has a picture of the bug and then its Latin name and then just a little bit of history of the bug. You know, diseases that it causes, you know, historical anecdote, or it is of a, like, you know, how it's really destroyed something, or um, a case of um, a person being afflicted by it, historical accounts, some of these bugs were used in warfare, you know, like growing a beehive, or like feeding bees some plant that's poisonous when people eat the honey, it poisons them, um, stuff like that. I mean, it was essentially what I expected. Yeah, it was what it was. Give it 3 out of 5 stars. I guess I just didn't enjoy it as much as I did Drunken Bottom. It just has a bunch of different bugs. I mean, I kind of think that books like these, it's not like, it's not structured like a typical nonfiction book where there are clearly defined sections. Drunken Botanist also had clearly defined sections. They had like fruits, grasses, all the trees and all that kind of stuff, but this it just has like, eh, it's, it's just, it just goes through a bunch of bugs. I think it's in alphabetical order, but it's alright. I mean, if you are interested in insects and just kind of like coffee table books, like it kind of seems like this should be a coffee table book and it should be bigger and have like more interesting illustrations and I think that would have been better that way. But it's a tiny, quick book. But one thing that I think is relevant to BookTube is it has a little thing of bookworms. And exactly, there are really no such things as bookworms or books that eat paper. Where the term bookworms would come from, the bookworms that were talked about then were worms that ate flesh. And that was actually going back to when they used leather or animal hides to make books and so they were bugs that ate the animal hide. They would mostly eat the leather and then they would burrow in to lay the eggs into the paper and which makes it look like worms are in the paper but they just burrowed in to lay eggs. And so that's where the term bookworm comes from. Corpse eating bugs. That was a surprise. So yeah, give us 3 out of 5 stars. It was alright. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this. Really short. Sorry if you're disappointed. Too bad. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.